What is up everybody? Fear F Jr. here back with another Marvel Snap deck build video. Today we are going over my optimal deck build. And this deck build for this season of the Celestial's Finest has taken me from Infinity Rank 70 to 93 between this deck and the other deck I showed you yesterday. I'll leave a link here for my Thena Angela deck. Those two decks are the only two decks I've played this whole season for ranking. Conquest have done other things. And I went from 43 to 93 and 70 to 93 really with this deck. And it's nothing crazy. There's no synergy involved. Um, let's get into it. But before I get into the deck, we are going to hit my spotlight key to try to get Cersei or something else. Maybe not Phoenix Force and Meek. I already have those. So let's, let's try for uh, Cersei. All right, all right, all right. David Magmere, Phoenix Force. That's, that's a nice card. Nice card. You know, but, you know, we really want to search the Unreveal Transform your other cards here in a random cards that cost one more. That's a cool, that's such a cool card. 5-7 drop. Guys, let's get into the deck today. The deck build is optimal. I will leave a link in the description below for my Marvel.pro account. We have Nebula, Echo, Shadow King Jeff, Maximus Rogue, Luke Cage, Gladiator, Man-Thing, War Machine, Claw, and Red Hulk. Why? Why? Real quick, I'll go over this. The idea behind this build was to grab the S tier cards of every power turn. So Nebula is Nebula and Echo are both very top S tier one cards. Obviously, Nebula, each turn your opponent doesn't play a card, you're plus two, except the first turn you play it. Echo is a great tech card, super underrated tech card. I've had this for a while now. You can see I'm trying to split it into a black and white variant, but I just keep getting gold. Then we have Shadow King, another tech card in the mix. Unreal set all cards here to their base power. We also have my other, my my two last, so we have four tech cards and all the other ones are just massive buffs. We have Echo, Shadow King, Rogue, super useful right now. You can, you can steal Wong, you can steal Super Scroll, you can steal Null, um, a lot of different cards. Luke Cage here, ongoing cards can't have their power reduced. So the one cost S tier is Nebula and Echo. Two cost S tier Jeff. You can move it once. It's super useful. Maximus is really good. Your opponent's draw two cards. Yes, but it's a 2-6. And staying in the theme, S tier Gladiator, 3-8. You know, on, on turn three, it's such a good card. Sometimes you can screw yourself. But Gladiator is worth the risk. Then we have Law. I think it's a very close S tier. You can disagree with me in the comments, that's okay. Location to the right has eight plus power, it used to be plus six. And Claw used to be what, five, seven, five, six? Anyways, I think it's a great buff. It gives more power to the right side location. You can't beat eight plus power. And then Red Hulk, obviously one of the best six drops in the game right now, and it's so good to have. Now I have Man-Thing in here to kind of spice things up. I'm not saying this is uh, S tier four cost, but Man-Thing is something that you can play on a lane where they're dropping Ant-Man, they're dropping Angela, Athena, so if you want to combat the current meta, you can do that with Man-Thing. Um, and that's why I have Luke Cage. I, I paired Luke Cage and Man-Thing together. And then War Machine, I think this card is very, very underrated. I recognize what the meta says about it. However, you want some ability to move cards in bad RNG environments. War Machine does that. It gives you that ability. So guys, let's get into it. Interesting mix. Optimal. We're going for it, guys. Welcome back. Thank you. I do deck builds every single day for Marvel Snap. Be sure to follow, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you would add to this deck as you get to see me play against my opponent. So let's get into it. All right, always Snap. Cadis, we're snapping, buddy. What's going on, Snap? I am kind of... Oh, I love that. Let's go! I don't believe you. So we are going to put Echo here in the middle. No ongoing effects here either. From that, from their side at least. Replace one of... I don't think I've ever seen World Forge. Wait, what? Replace one of the other locations each turn. That is really cool. Uh, I've never seen this card, or this location. Uh, so I am going to play Jeff on turn two we are going to see a lot of crazy stuff happen i am glad that i have a couple cards in my hand to do what i need to okay so we are going to put nebula right 
here in the middle. And I'm I'm gonna keep Jeff at the Great Web for right now. Because the Great Web will change again eventually. This is a cool location. I've never played this location before. Okay, only one card. Okay, so I am absolutely playing Claw here at Forge on turn four. Get that five drop. Hopefully they can change Danger Room. I don't really want to risk playing something there right now. Slot, but you played it at Echo's location, so uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You know, Echo, buddy. Cards here with the highest power get doubled. Awesome. Let's let's do Gladiator at World Forge. Kind of boost this location up. We'll get 14 here. They might play a card here, but that's okay. We're gonna try to mess with their their turn drops. You know, hopefully they get a bad card. They do have Ravana, um, so I'm kind of worried about Ravana now. It's a key, pretty good card. Um, they didn't play here at this location. That's okay. We got rid of Invisible Woman. Doesn't seem like they're gonna play it anyways at this rate in the game. They, they mystique. They didn't have a they didn't have a target because Echo got onslaught. So what are you doing, buddy? And then Limbo Magic, but World Forge is gonna change you know, one of them up. Okay. This is I I like this. This is fun. So let's. Let's play Maximus here, and I'm going to move Jeff, and then I'm going to play Man-Thing at, at Krakoa to get that boost 5 on the next card I draw. Even if I don't play it, I still want it. Um, I'm changing up the locations on where my cards are dropping. At Limbo, I'm going to have 9, 14 at World Forge, and I will only have 6 at Krakoa against... It looks like it'll be negative one if nothing changes. And I can play Red Hulk. Unfortunately, they've played uh, all the energy they could play every single turn. We haven't gotten a benefit for Red Hulk yet. And Shadow King's really not going to help me so far. Playing Maximus. We're playing Man Bang. We use Krakoa. The now they have Living Tribunal. I can still rogue that. Huh. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Hmm. Now they're going to have a nine card the day they have. I think it should be fine. I'm gonna play Luke Cage at the Vault and Shadow King at World Forge. Get as good as I can if they didn't play there. So I think I'm gonna have minimum 16 at every location. Yep. And now they have Super Scroll. So that's interesting. Did it beat me though? Nope. Sometimes Living Tribunal can just hurt you, buddy. Victory. What just happened? Beer Rap Jr. Gatus. Alright, I'll take that rank. Give me that rank, buddy. Alright, I'm just playing, guys. Alright, that was that was the deck. Um It's a good deck, guys. I mean you, you, you saw me play it once. There's a lot of different things you can do here. Obviously we didn't get rogue. We didn't get war machine drawn. I think we drew everything else though. Um, it's a good deck. I, I like this deck. It's not, there's no synergy. There's not too much synergy with it. It's not like a bounce deck. It's not like this, these Thena decks that are going on. It's, it's high value cards with intelligent tech cards built in. This would be a great conquest deck, I think. Um, but I'm playing it in ranked and I'm doing just fine with it. Uh, yeah, I will leave a link to this Mar the marvel.pro, um, deck build for this deck i believe it's a pool five because of uh because of what echo gladiator and red hulk i think I, I can't remember it's definitely at least pool four it might be pool five um so yeah guys there it is uh welcome to the show fear of junior back again every single day i do a marvel snap deck build video so please like subscribe comment all that good stuff guys thank you so much for watching i'll be back again tomorrow with another video take care guys see ya